man. And B and B forty seven. What what do you have? Forty seven. What's this? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. What's crack? What up, man? What up, man? Hold up. Yeah, back on. Yeah, and B, yeah, B went dominant this game. He was trying to show Jokic. I'm for, I'm, I'm, yeah. I should have been. Another debate, Dion. You versus uh Trevor again. The Duncan and that Duncan KG debate. <laughs> well, it's, I think we, I think we settled it. I think he probably misunderstood what I was saying. Tim Duncan is. Oh yeah, he, right. he the goat. Yeah, it was a two take. Yeah. He the goat power forward. What I was saying was. Schematic KG fits into every scheme, no matter the offense. That's fact. I said, you can't, yeah, it is. Play, you can't play five out with Tim Duncan. KG anywhere. Right. That don't mean mm-hmm. that don't mean that KG is better, but that's just he fits in more right. stuff. Yeah, I I noticed that too because you uh you you um whenever we do drafts. You always take KG, but he fits. That's why, like, I really do. I get when the older guys get mad, but I definitely would have loved to see KG in this era because I really feel like this era was made for him, especially the way he worked. It's really no matchup for him if they go in with no centers. You better not. I put on the forward on. I'll tell you that. But. What do you think about the notion where they felt like he should have probably always been – he would have probably been better as a two or at least with someone like a Kobe. He, he almost closed. went there. He almost went there. He, he, he almost went there. Closed. And, and, oh, wait. He said he – in the interview on All That Smoke, he said he was trying to go – he was trying to go. He, he said he, if, him and, if him and Stephon Marbury never break up, then you got a shot. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They, they When they – Broke it all the way down. He was limited, and he was playing almost in the playoffs where his numbers dropped. He was playing almost the whole game, every playoff series with no number two until he got Spreewell for you. Like, and then after that, you playing in a conference where two dynasties exist at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm about your point. Whereas you look at it, rings was one. By do those two do y'all, franchises. Do y'all ever watch his show? He, he he was saying he said that he he said he been trying to talk to Damian Lillard and tell because he said that Damian Lillard in his same situation. And he said he trying to he he said he want to talk to Damian try to get him in the league because he because Dan because he said the time is ticking. He said he he was like I waited too long in Minnesota. He was like I waited too long in Minnesota to decide the league. He's like, like damn. Are you willing to give up a ring? I mean, damn. Well, the only thing with Dame is, one, he's kind of like there. I think when he'll be 32 this year, yeah. or he is 32. So, I think, like, another thing with these guys is they are kind of getting extended yeah. lines. So, he may get a Chris Paul situation. Or Oscar Roberts situation, Oscar Roberts situation where like they're probably like 33, 34 and could possibly go get it like I won't say chase a ring, but try to get to a spot where they where they're in position to try to win it. I think Dame just really been in it fits and I won't say he's positioning himself to do this, but you never really be going to be pressured for winning or winning a ring. If you was the guy mm-hmm. that stuck it out in no win situations, you get what I'm saying? Dame is not gonna get that Chris Paul smoke, or he's not gonna look like mm-hmm. he never won a ring because they're like, well, he's stuck. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it is some cover in that situation. And then, too, the guy's damn near gonna make half a billion dollars mm-hmm. playing basketball. Yeah, you so seen that? We debating it, but it just really comes down to what these guys are. What they want are going to be called to be in that great category mm-hmm. where rings matter. And yeah. those are the ones that are those perennial superstar MVP. Good. 
you will see the 60 points. But, you know, Steph and Kyrie are going to be looked at different if they don't win. And really it's going to fall more on Steph if he doesn't yeah. win compared to Kyrie. Because Kyrie and leading his yeah, team. Steph, Steph got to lead his team. So more it's just yet, different. Sure. Yeah, it's just different when you're called to be in one of his most efficient seasons. Man. And they're still get looking at him because the the team is in the seventh spot. And the yeah, that, spot. Hey, Jordan Poole, 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 Poole picked up 